Kaylee, aka The Sophisticated Shopper, and might I just say I've been on a roll this week, or, and I know that's kind of tuning my own horn, but, um, I've actually been able to film like three or four videos this week, which is really, really surprising. Um, I'm not normally, uh, allotted this amount of time to do videos. I usually have a lot of homework or projects or assignments or such that I need to do. Uh, throughout the week and so far this week I've gotten them all done miraculously before the due dates and I have plenty of time just to pal around and do whatever. Um, so I've decided to kind of make a more random video. Uh, not so much random but uh, kind of a collection kind of video which I never really introduced uh, in my channel to doing this so this is kind of like a surprise collection video. Um, and it's really just going to be on my lip products, not lip glosses because I have way too many of those and I can't find all of them, but it's just mainly lipsticks and like the lip, little lip pens or chubby sticks or pencils, whatever you call those. Um, that's basically the collection that I'm going to be showing you today. And I'm going to show you actually what I store them in too, that way you guys can get an idea if you too also have a, uh, large collection of lipsticks or lip glosses, how you can store them uh, efficiently and still be able to see what you have and uh, organize them in the colors that you want or organize them by brand, however you want to do it. So let's just get started. Um, I have a lot of lipstick. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's, I have 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have about... I don't know. I have like 30 plus lipsticks, so if this is a long video, I'm sorry in advance. I'm just really excited about my lipsticks. So, all right. So this is the first one that I have, which I got like a week or two ago. You guys may or may not have seen it. Actually, probably won't have because I need to refilm the video. But when I went and did it, uh, an Ulta haul, I went to the Essence section and I got this beauty. Um, this is one of their new long-lasting lipsticks or true lasting whatever you want to call it it's got a little e in there um this is a really i really 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 like how this tube looks it looks like it's well made kind of like a mac one uh, but it's really nice it was $2.99 and it's in the color nude love and i did not have a really nice nude color before this so i was really happy to get this and try this and i'm actually wearing it on my lips right now and i know with the lighting it's kind of bad but it's a pinky nude, so it's it's good balance. Um, let me see. Um, is there anything else I should say? I this is one of the many, uh, well not many, but one of the few uh, essence lipsticks I have. So I really like the formula, and um, I like how smooth they are on your lips, and they last a while. Um, at least this one does, because it is long lasting. So if you guys want to try it out, go find it at Ulta. And um, it's really cheap, $2.99, so it's not, you can't go wrong. Um, and that is actually one of the ones that doesn't fit in my container that I have, so I have to buy another container, or you know what I mean. So this is how I store them, my uh, lipsticks, and I have two of these, so this is the first one of the two. And I have it all organized by color. Some of these, just like this one, do not want to stay standing up. Um, but these go from like nudes to light pinks to darker pinks to more like antiqued pinks to hot pinks to uh, fuchsia to purple. So this is kind of like my nude pink purpley kind of section. So starting here is the nudes and then it, it goes pink and then it goes really pink and then here it's purple, purple, purple. So I'll pull out every one and I can swatch them if you'd like. That is why I have my handy dandy makeup wipes here. Um, all right, let's start with this one. This one is one of my Essence lipsticks. It is in the color, um, oh, look at me is the color, it's number 40. It's a brown kind of shimmery shade and I've used this one a lot because it's all weirdly shaped, but it's, really cute it's in it's kind of a cheap packaging but what do you expect for like a dollar ninety eight so it's really really nice I really like it and it's great for any skin tone really 
So that's the color. It's a nice nude kind of brown and it's shimmery. I like that one. And this is $1.98 at Ulta. And I think they still have it, so I'd go pick this up for you. Um, this one is a Clinique that I got from one of my friends like forever ago. Um, I got it from my best friend actually. She does not really like nude lipsticks, so she gave it to me. It is in bamboo pink, but really it's not pink, it's brown. Um, and I've used this one up pretty much. Um, let me swatch it. I know Clinique is really expensive, especially for their lipsticks. So I'm probably not going to rebuy this, but I'm sure I can find a dupe for it. So that's the color. It's more brown than the top one. Um, and it's just a nice color. It's not too dark. Alrighty. So this one is my NYC uh, in chiffon. It's very, it's like, if you guys remember in the 90s where people had, uh, really, really light uh, frosted kind of pink lips. This is kind of what it reminds me of because it is a really frosted pink color. It's light, really light, and it kind of makes me look ghostly. So I usually put a darker lip color under it and put this on top because otherwise I look like a corpse. Um, so let me swatch that for you. And now it's gonna be too light to see on camera. Alright, so right here is your color. It's really, really pink and very, very light. Looks very icicly pink. Uh, but it's in a cute little bullet shaped tube. And this was like a dollar, maybe 98 cents, something like that at Walmart. Um, it's just basic NYC brand. And I like the formula. It's just, yeah, I think it was the smell that I didn't like. It smells like Play Doh. So, I don't wear it too much, but I do when I wear like a fuchsia. That way it calms down the fuchsia a little bit. So, all right. This one is one of my favorites. This one is my only MAC uh, lipstick, and it is the, and I'm also very obsessed with Lady Gaga, so don't judge me with this one. This is the uh, Viva Glam Gaga and uh, Luster Pink. It's the pink one. And she actually designed this line to go with any skin color or skin type or whatever um, so that it would look good with everybody. And she had a nude one or she had the pink one and I at the time didn't care about nude lipsticks so I got the pink one and I got this for my birthday two years ago so I've used it kind of in an odd way but it looks nice. I really like it. It's a blue toned pink. So let's swatch this. I love it. It's so, like, usually I hear that MAC lipsticks are really drying um, and kind of nasty feeling on the lips. This one is really moist, and um, it has a great color to it, so it's blue-toned pink. And it's really not crazy if you're really pale like me. It's not too bad, and I am I bet if you have, uh, like, a beige tone skin, it'll look great on you. Um, or even darker tone skins. Skins. Darker, darker, I can't even say that now. Darker toned skin would look amazing with this. So I think she had the right idea with the color, the blue tone in it, uh, to look good for people with different skin colors. So really, really like this one. This one was like, I think I got it for $14.50 before the MAC lipsticks went up in price. Now they're like $17.90, depending on if it's a special, uh, like a special uh, collection. This was a special collection, except I got it like, around Christmas time so it was done being out and showcased so it was a little bit cheaper but love this and if I could which I've not been able to find it again I would rebuy it if I were done with it <clears throat> all right this one is just one of my regular Ulta ones it's got a silver kind of tube um, and it's see-through on top so you can see the color um, it's just a basic nudie pink it's really pretty I don't know why I keep saying nudie pink, but it's it's pink. It's like a basic toned pink. Um, it's kind of, it's a natural pink. There you go. It's not too bright. It's not too blue toned. Um, this one is 237, which I don't think has a name. Nope, just 237. So if you go to Ulta and you look up 
the number 237, you'll find this one. And it is darker on your skin than it is on your lips. So it's way more pink on your lips, but it's pretty dark on your hand. So if you swatch things on your hand and they look really dark, try it on your lips before you think about putting it away because it'll look different with your lip color. If you have really light lips, yeah, it might look just like this, but if you have some pink tone to your lips already, it'll look a lot lighter. So I really, really like this one too. And I actually have two tubes of this. I, got, I bought this one for prom and uh, I got another one of these in one of the bags that they had for free if you spent like 20 bucks. So I have two of these, so in case I run out, I have another one. All right, this one I thought was really unique when I bought it. It's the NYC City Duet Duet. Do you, I am not even gonna say it. Two in one lip color, and it actually has two colors, one on each side. Uh, this one is in the vintage pinks, which I love vintagey stuff and French stuff, so you can kind of see in the background vintagey pretty stuff. Love it. Um, so you got a nice fuchsia on the back and then you got a really light nude pink and it is nude pink. Um, and you're supposed to mix it so um, I'll just show one of them down there and then I'll show the other one next to it and then I'll show it on top of another. So this one's the fuchsia color and that one's the light pink color. Um, and I usually put that over top of it. I've only worn it once or twice. Um, let's see, there we go. And it looks really nice when you add the light pink on top. It really makes it more subtle. So that's what it is with the light pink on top. So it's really not that bad. It's similar to that, but a little bit more purple toned. I really like it. It was like $1.98 at Walmart. Um, oh boy. This one I got forever ago with my best friend at Target and I believe this was Wet n Wild. Yeah, I think this was Wet n Wild and it was 502A. Doesn't have a name. <sighs> this looks cruddy, I know. It looks nasty, 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 but I've used this so much. It's crazy, I love this color. This is probably one of my more wearable pinks that I love to wear um, and I need to find it again if they still carry it, but This is it. So it's really nice flush toned and it's kind of similar to that except it's got a little bit deeper pink in it and it's just very natural, very, very pretty. It adds a little bit of shimmer to your lips so it's nice and so far none of these uh, colors are matte so I will let you know when there is a matte lipstick. I know I'm, I'm kind of jumping all over the place but um, it's kind of not fair to you to tell you whether it's not matte or not. Um, because I know sometimes, ooh, dark, um, sometimes people don't like shiny lipsticks, which I personally like shiny better than matte, because matte for me, uh, brings out the little creases in my lips, and even though you exfoliate and such, it'll still look kind of funky, so I don't like that. Okay. Okay, got all the swatches off, so I can do some more. Um, now this one is matte. This one is the... NYX matte lipstick and uh, the color Audrey and I got this because I was thinking Audrey Hepburn pretty this is a beautiful purpley pink it's a fuchsia or purple toned fuchsia I love it so much and I only have worn it once but I bought a shirt on purpose to match it so I could wear it all the time um, Ooh, I just rubbed it this is a beautiful pink beautiful it's got deep, deep purple tones in it too. I love it so much. And this was $5.28, I believe. But I got it for three when um, Nick's stuff was 40% off. Uh, so it really wasn't a bad deal. Uh, or, you know, it was a good deal. I really liked it. And it's nice that you could see the color of the lipstick without opening up the tube. So that's nice. We're getting into more of the fuchsia tone, so if you really like fuchsia, you'll love this. Uh, this one I got, uh, which is also the same collection, the NYX Matte uh, collection, which was actually a few months old. Um, it's Tea Rose, and I was really, really, really wanting to find this one, and I eventually did. Uh, this one's a lot deeper. This one's got a little bit more red to the uh, pink, kind of, and it's dark. 
Actually, I think this is the one that I bought the shirt to go with. Yeah, I bought a shirt that's this color so I could wear it with uh, that shirt and any black shirt that I have, which I have a lot of. Um, yeah, I really like that color. Uh, this one's my, I think my last Essence one. No, second to last. <clears throat> this one's my Fuchsia one. And it is in the color Sparkling Miracle. Beautiful name for that. Um... And it's usually really light when I put it on my uh, lips. So when you see it on my hand, it's not going to be this dark on your lips. Um, it does add a lot of shimmer. And it does have a little bit of glitter in it, but you can't feel it. So I don't mind that. But I really like it. And the formula is very smooth. It's not drying. And this was like $1.98. So very cheap. And I got it at Ulta. So very nice. Alrighty. This one... I got in one of my makeup kits from like when I turned 12 when I was actually allowed to use makeup. Uh, this is like TCW, the Color Workshop Lipstick. Um, does not have a color name, but I think we got this from Walmart. But it's a really nice color. Like if you want to do kind of a Lord look, you know, like the musician. Um, it's like a purpley black. It's like blackberry colored. It's purple. I don't know, I like it. It's kind of the color of my nails. Kind of. A little more purple though. Um, it's not bad. It's kind of a drying formula, so I don't wear it all the time. Unless I put like an EOS lip balm underneath. Um, this is... Okay, next one. I love this tube. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, this was the... Oh, forgive me. I think this was the Maybelline. Um... Maybelline New York's uh, Forever Metallics brand, uh, the Silver Lilac. So it's like a purpley silver. Let's see if it's purpley silver. I got this at the dollar store. So if you've read my dollar store haul, that's where you're going to see it. Um, it's really drying. <laughs> really, really drying. So I tried to put something underneath it. Um, and a plus it amplifies the color a little bit if you put something underneath it. But that's the color. It is a silver purple, so... It's a little bit lighter. All right. Wow, we got through that one. All right. Wipey, wipey, wiping. Okay. So, this one's all done with the pinks and the nudes. And I think I'm going to turn this into a two-part one. So, I will see you guys in part two. All right. Bye.